with breaking news. Exclusive new video showing a young couple speeding to their deaths. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, this new video offering clues about what happened in the final seconds before that horrific crash just last night. Let's go straight to Michael Paluska, who's been going over these new images tonight. Michael. Jameson, Wendy, three people right now are still at Tampa General Hospital fighting for their lives. And then this video is released showing through a Snapchat Snapchat app calculating this speed that the driver moments before the crash going at more than 115 miles per hour. A wide open road, the VW Golf accelerating. The snap posted at 9.38 p.m. Nine minutes later, the driver in the snap, Pablo Cortez III and his girlfriend, Jolie Bartolome, videoing would be dead. Uh, they were going so fast. Efren Rodriguez says no one on the road had time to react. All I seen was a blue flash. It just burst into flames. We showed Rodriguez the video posted on social media. He was shocked. It could have been avoided. It was a hard scene to watch. I got about like 10 feet close to it and I couldn't deal no more. So I turned my head and walked away. A mother and her two children hit head on in the minivan died. Another family friend still fighting for her life. Rodriguez still can't believe he is alive. It was going so fast that it hopped the median and flew over my car and hit the car behind me, directly behind me. Like, I, I escaped. Like, it's, it's just traumatic. I feel bad for those families, you know, but, man, uh, I got another chance, you know, to be here because I'm not, I'm not kidding, like, a second, and I wouldn't be here talking to you guys. And family members of the three survivors here at Tampa General told us tonight they believe that this was caused by street racing. However, Florida Highway Patrol tell us that at this point there is no evidence that there was any street racing involved. We also talked to that witness tonight. He says what he saw was that car barreling down the road at that high rate of speed all by itself before it jumped the meeting. He says he didn't witness any street racing either. We're live here at Tampa General tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.